Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed we're very very grateful so today i'm going to be reacting to the scientific side of islam video is right part one a big shout out to the person that suggested this this video was very hard to find but here we are so yeah without wasting time let's get into the video بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق أولم يكف بربك أنه على كل شيء شهيد صدق الله العظيم Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and grant him peace as a messenger to the whole universe. Allah says in the Quran, we send thee not, but as a mercy for all creatures. And so Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah to the Bedouins in the desert, just as he is the messenger of Allah to the present day scientist in his modern laboratory. He is the messenger of Allah to all peoples of all times. Before Prophet Muhammad, each messenger was sent exclusively to his own people. Allah said to every people, a guide has been sent. But Prophet Muhammad's message is to all of mankind. And it is for this reason that Allah has given a supporting proof to the message of Prophet Muhammad, a proof which is different from the proofs given to the messengers before him. The proofs of the preceding messengers were only seen by their contemporaries and possibly by some generations immediately following them. Then Allah would send a new messenger supported with a new miracle in order to revive the faith of his people. Because Prophet Muhammad was destined to be the last of the prophets until the day of resurrection, Allah has given him an everlasting miracle as a supporting proof. 
If we ask a Jew or a Christian to show us the miracles of the prophet Moses or Jesus, they both would submit that it is not within human power to redemonstrate any of those miracles now. Moses Cain cannot be recreated and the prophet Jesus cannot be invoked to raise people from the dead. For us today, these miracles are nothing more than historical reports. But if a Muslim is asked about the greatest miracle of the Prophet Muhammad, he can readily show his book, the Quran, which is a miracle in our hands. It is an open book for all mankind to examine its contents. Allah said in the Quran, say, what carries the most weight in testimony? Say, Allah is a witness between me and you. The Quran has been revealed to me that I may warn you with it and whomever it reaches. The miraculous nature of the Quran lies in the knowledge which it contains. Allah said, but Allah bears witness that which he has revealed to you, he has revealed from his own knowledge. Hence, our contemporary scientists and scholars, the professors in various universities who are leaders of human thought, have the opportunity to examine the knowledge which is found in the book of Allah. In this age, scientists have excelled in discovering the universe, but the Quran has already discussed the universe and the human nature. So what was the result? We present Professor Keith L. Moore, one of the world's prominent scientists of anatomy and embryology. We ask Professor Moore to give us his scientific analysis of specific Quranic verses and prophetic traditions, a hadith, pertaining to his field of specialization. Professor Keith Moore is the author of The Developing Human which has been translated into eight languages. Russians, Japanese, German, Chinese, Italian, and Portuguese. When we asked Professor Moore to give us his analysis of the Quranic verses, and prophetic tradition, a hadith, he was amazed. He wondered how the Prophet Muhammad, 14 centuries ago, could describe the embryo and its development phase in such detail and accuracy which scientists have come to know only in the last 30 years. Very quickly, however, Professor Moore's amazement grew into admiration for this revelation and guidance. He introduced these views to intellectual and scientific circles. He even gave a lecture on the compatibility of modern embryology with the Quran and Sunnah. Introducing Professor Moore, here is Dr. Abdullah Nasif, ex-director of the King Abdulaziz University. Our guest today is Dr. Keith Moore, Professor of Anatomy and Imperiology at the University of Toronto, Canada. And before, at the University of Winnipeg in Western Canada for 11 years. Then, the head of the anatomy department for six years. He has headed many international associations such as Canadian and American Associations of Anatomists and the Council of the Union of Biological Sciences. Professor Moore was also elected to the membership of the Royal Medical Association of Canada, the International Academy of Cytology, the Union of the American Anatomists, and the Union of North and South American Anatomists. Professor Moore has published many books on clinical anatomy and embryology. Eight of them are used as reference works in medical schools and have been translated into six languages, 
namely Italian, German, Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, and Chinese. It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that... Interesting video. And a big shout out to the person that suggested it, suggested this. I think I reacted to the clip where they showed uh, the doctor, Dr. Keith, talking about the embryology. I've actually reacted to that. So if you guys want to see it, it's on our channel. Just search it. And yeah, this video, I like how it started. At first it was showing us the creation of um, God and then it went on to a video. I actually thought it would just be slides without no one talking but thank goodness there was a translation in the end and it's just giving us what other videos gave us it's showing us that this was mentioned in the quran and science has proved it be it the development of a child be it the what else was mentioned i'm trying to think i really can't think right now but yeah so such things is what the video is showing and I've always said that we really have to be curious human beings if the Quran could have predict could have predicted something way back why don't we look into it even if you don't want to read it for religious purposes but then read it maybe for science what are you going to find in the book it could be beneficial to you otherwise let me know what you guys Think, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.